Hello, welcome to the second vlog of my summer series dissertation writing. I just opened an Etsy shop. Uh, I look very, what's the word I'm looking for? Not distressed, but we're gonna take this down. If you didn't see my video on wavy hair essentials, the scrunchies. Also, my hair does this, all oh, those roots. So, hi, I'm Anna Mae. And I'm currently writing my master's dissert my master's, my master's dissertation. I'm doing a degree in peace and development studies. And I don't think I fully went into this in my previous vlog, but the topic of my dissertation is maternal mortality and water sanitation and hygiene projects, initiatives and their implementation and the effects on those. So in Southeast Asia also, there's a lot. There's a lot going on there. So we're only in the beginning stages right now. And I, you just saw the last vlog. Um, I just finished off this earlier today. I had just had such like a scattered week last week after I finally, really short notice, had the meeting that I've been waiting like two weeks for with my supervisor. So this Monday we were like having a fresh start. So we're officially getting started on the, love my super messy handwriting. We're doing some listing trying to figure out what cases I'm going to be using for my actual like cases and so I'm doing MDSD so m most different systems designed for my actual like study part I'm sorry if this is really boring for you but I think it might be interesting you know I prefer I like to follow people on YouTube and on Instagram who are also in, in school or have gone through it because it's more real to me so Maybe this is interesting or helpful or just, maybe you're just curious, maybe you're not, then just, I don't know, skip ahead to when I'm not talking about this. But I'm using most different systems design, so what we're kind of doing is the leader laggard kind of system. So I'm going to be looking for leaders in improvements in maternal mortality and then the laggards, people who are not doing so hot. But yeah, I decided to pick up the camera because I've actually reached a bit of an issue, which is not so much of an issue as it is just me struggling. So I think oh, sometimes what becomes an issue for me as just me being me studying what I study is that I'm a bit of like an altruist, I think is probably the term. Um, so I care most of all about the well-being of people. It's obviously why I'm studying why I'm, what I'm studying, so I, I went into politics, etc. I'm kind of struggling right now because the leaders that I have, to, and I know what I have to choose, like the more I talk about it, the more I know what I have to choose, but the leaders in reduction of maternal mortality rate from the study that I'm looking at, which is, um, it's like, I think it's like UNDP, UNICEF, uh, World Bank, and, a couple other like a lot of people's data like it's a joint report the four so i'm kind of doing four leaders for laggards but the four leaders two of them still have like the highest maternal mortality rate two of the four highest maternal mortality rates in the region does that make sense i feel like that's confusing so let me just explain it to you i'm talking about nepal and laos that have 66 percent reduction maternal mortality rate amazing congratulations well done that's still 186 deaths per hundred thousand births so that's like really high it's not afghanistan which is just disturbing every time i, I write it it's over 600 per hundred thousand births so that's really terrifying but i know i have to use them as like leaders in this but god it's really bad i guess what the problem is is just that i'm not looking at this as, as stats maybe I should be I'm looking at it as like people but that's just how I am and it's true it is people and the way I see it I'm like I should I should be seeing people you know individuals dying and not just looking at like okay well, the production it's just so hard for me to separate it so that's what's going on right now but I know that that's it's I'm looking at the reduction and who has notable reductions who doesn't but <laughs> it's really difficult so I'm just gonna kind of pick out provisional leaders and laggards now I've been doing this over the afternoon and I'm gonna hopefully have a little stitch and bitch with my friend later on this evening but other than that I don't have any real plans for this week which is kind of unfortunate but you know it is a global pandemic so 
I can get over it. I also need to work on taking some photos for Instagram and for Etsy this week um, for MK Needlepoint. I have those linked down below. And yeah, that's all that's happening right now. Just need to deal with horrifying statistics. Hey, hey, it's Tuesday. I'm about to head out for a walk because I just cannot focus. And I have a really bad, like, tension headache slash, like, down my back. Um, usually when I have, like, said I had a migraine last vlog um you do when that happens it kind of happens over the course of a week and i just don't feel very well i really haven't made any progress today at all i've just kind of reevaluated what i did yesterday on my dissertation but when i come back i'm hopefully going to do a little bit on that and i'll show you what i'm doing that when i start to like kind of make out the table and pull out the book again actually i tidied my shelf yesterday i don't think i showed that so this has been reorganized since I don't know if you've seen it before, but now I have like photo albums and planners all up the top and notebooks because I am the worst for having all those kind of things. These are all instant photos. And then these are all regular photo albums. There's actually more. And then these are all planners because I'm a big planner person. And then I got rid, rid of a lot of like childhood books, donated them. Some of them are still here. And then the rest of them are stuff I use. And then this is all my instant camera stuff still. So the desk is looking still a mess but you can see that whoa, there that's a new addition or it was under there and that's moved up so i got um a really nice little storage system that arrived here i got these super cute oh you cannot see with the lighting you can kind of see there they're like can't remember what you call them but the threads are like not one consistent color they're so cute um that's for the background of an ornament that i haven't i've designed but i haven't painted or stitched myself yet and then I got a hundred, yeah, of these little bags uh, that say floss away. <laughs> and it has a color and a little color number. So, and like a little hole punched at the top so they can go on a big ring. And I'm gonna be sorting out all of my fibers. I don't actually have that money right now. So I'm kind of starting before it gets too bad. And hopefully that'll tidy up that area. But um, I'm, my Everlane order arrived as well. Maybe I'll show that later but i ordered it before everlane got kind of dragged through the mud regarding how they treat their employees specifically like their black employees you know i knew about all of the lack of unionizing when i ordered this and then it got worse so it's there i'll show you what i got anyways uh, it's just really hard to sustainably shop but you know that's just the problem um i'm gonna go walk it might be raining but I have to get out anyways, and then we'll actually do some schoolwork. So we got pretty much, not nothing, but pretty much nothing done today. Yeah, I'm like dealing with kind of like migraine symptoms again, so that it's just difficult because I, I like minor hormonal migraine so i like can't stop the triggers it's not like i'm like allergic to perfume or you know those kind of things that are often triggers um it's literally just like me being female and alive so that's kind of annoying so i kind of put some thoughts together on what topics i was going to use like women's education and how you know now i need to kind of see how i'm going to measure all those things and i have to edit this so much because i take so many long pauses of migraine. I think I said women's education, women's rights, and GDP. That is all I'm able to put together right now, but that kind of thing. This is gonna be such a balls to edit because I like can't talk. <laughs> I wanted to sort my fibers or at least start on those kind of drawer organization stuff. I might just do it for a few minutes. I can just do all the really simple ones now <laughs> and then revisit ones that i'm gonna have to like look up receipts and stuff like that but my desk storage and organization situation is it's gonna be it's gonna be a long-term project um but other than that i'm probably just gonna finish maybe finish the ornament i'm stitching oh i need to post on instagram i've been meaning to do that for a couple of days now but maybe i'll finish the little lemon ornament and that lemon canvas i showed it in either this vlog or another vlog that is going to be available to purchase soon that's a wrap on tuesday pretty much and uh really hoping wednesday is going to be a much better day i'm going to pick up my outfit i'm going to get up and get dressed and just overall try and have a better day happy wednesday it's a new day feeling much better now my brain has 
recovered, thankfully. Um, because the it's a whole thing with migraines. Sometimes you like feel like you recover, and then sometimes you don't. Uh, but I was gonna go to town today to run a few errands and had a little to do list from last night. I really only had like two errands, and it was like look at a charity shop for addresses on the window, and I had to like lodge a check. So they can wait because I have so much schoolwork I want to get done today, and I actually feel like I can do it today. It's like yesterday my, I could not brain. That's part of my whole like migraine situation, but. I'm wearing so this is a old t-shirt of my dad's it's older than me and i tie-dyed it maybe five or six years ago it has a hole here this hole back here but i wear it all the time because it's like so big and long and bike shorts who is she honestly great decision i love them these ones are from everlane as i said i know issues with everlane but i'd already ordered them and again big picture right now I'm gonna do a little bit of schoolwork before lunch and then do some more after lunch. Maybe sit outside for a bit because it is so beautiful outside. That's like why I'm not gonna go into town because I want to be able to like sit outside of my house. Then maybe get some listings done. I'd really, really like to list the like tile and lemons because I just wanna have like more listings up on my shop, so. I changed my t-shirt but I'm still in the same place. I went for a walk in the woods with my mum and my dog um, but I didn't bring my camera or phone because I'm just wearing bike shorts. Um, so I'm just about to pack it in for today. Pretty unproductive day. Um, I was basically just collecting a bit of data from the World Bank. Uh, what else did I say? I'm just looking at my little to-do list. Review meeting notes. Okay, so I'm gonna review the meeting notes and then I'm going to, I think I'm gonna try and take some product photos for listing the new canvas because I really want to get it up and like have more stuff as I said earlier on my shop. I'll see what actually gets done. Right now, I'm gonna pause this. I'm watching Delaney Hogg's vlog with her friend Devin and then I'm gonna watch her friend Devin's vlog from like the same day. So I think that's fun. What I'm doing right now, so I got, the lighting is terrible because it's behind me, but it's just how it is. Um, so I actually might be doing stuff tomorrow. Crazy, I know, because it was such a nice day today. Um, so I'm gonna see if that happens. But right now I am organizing my fibers because I like to cut my skeins as they are, like cut it all at once, but then it's hard to like keep track. I'm so sorry, the lighting's so bad. Okay, this is more normal. Um, it's just that my room is a mess, but I need to organize fibers before I go vacuuming because that makes no sense. So I have a hundred of these floss away bags that I was able to get on Etsy and I'm gonna be labeling so if you see them they're good they have like color numbers I feel like these vlogs are gonna end up being so bizarrely like niche it's like needlepoint and dissertation but I have a little color label here and I think they fit like multiple schemes so the first one I did was just my ecru I'm obsessed with that color I don't know why I'm gonna do like all the fibers I have, I think. Uh, I pretty much just have pearl cotton, um, cause I'm cheap, and that's all I can get my hands on. So I'm gonna maybe try and keep them together for their like intended projects because I bought a bunch of these colors specifically for the Singapore ornament I'm doing. Sneak peek, Singapore ornament. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the Ireland one already, but the Singapore one isn't even painted. Like it's not even outlined. Well, okay, I have the Singapore lettering outlined on a canvas so that's it um but it's all charted so i need to i don't need to i want to do that i need to do school work so i'm just going to do that for the evening really and tomorrow maybe we'll have a little day out if we do i'm wearing a cute outfit because i am just sick of not wearing cute clothes like bike shorts like, come on as predicted my best friend and i are gonna go out and about we're gonna go out to the coast but we're gonna go to like a different place we're gonna go further away and do a little cliff walk kind of thing i put on makeup what and i'm wearing my new everlane top it's just such mixed feelings right now but i know it's just hard with sustainable brands when you trust them and then they wreck it um but i'm wearing new everlane top 
Everdyne jeans and Chacos um, because it's like a 5k walk and it's rocky and stuff. Oh, and my Lily said we headband. We're gonna go out and do that. I'm not really planning on doing any school work today. I'm gonna be so behind and I'm gonna be like crying in later episodes of my dissertation vlog because um, I'm not doing anything. I kind of want to bring my needle point and stitch in the car, but I know that's also not the safest thing, especially on Irish roads, so I'm not going to. But I spent over an hour last night trying to clear space on my laptop, so that was so fun. I really just need to get an external hard drive. I need to figure that out because I was trying to get the footage onto my laptop to edit the vlog previous to this and I can't still, so that's fun. Also, I'm doing this whole thing where I have like curls and then no curls because I slept on it weird and it just was a bad wash day, as I said, so. Also, yesterday my brother tried to convince me that uh, I don't have wavy hair. That I have hair that is long and it is so long it waves. Boy logic. <laughs> time out with Rebecca and Gracie. You obviously just saw those clips. We got like chips and it was it was just ice cream. Very good. Went on a walk. Obviously it's super scenic. We're from pretty, pretty part of the world. So now I'm gonna clean my room because it's not so bad behind me but this like where my desk is is just bedlam. Like it's bad. I got the threads organized last night, which was good, but I need to do some more on that. And then I also need to try and like get the footage onto my laptop and edit and figure out how I'm gonna do that. Um, the vlog previous to this. Hopefully I'll get like all of my fibers and stuff kind of sorted and then I'll just have like junk to sort through. Um, even though there's not much junk, kind of a problem. But I decided I wasn't gonna do any schoolwork today. Oops. Um, but I'm gonna work all day tomorrow instead. I really don't wanna do, but need to do um and obviously i got changed into bike shorts and this t-shirt again because i don't wear regular clothes outside the inside the house anybody else like that I, they're like my outdoor clothes these are my house clothes boom so like it'll be easier to work tomorrow when i have all these kind of jobs done so i'm pretty much done tidying my desk area probably didn't see that clearly before so much better now all of my needlepoint i'll probably do like when it's starting to actually like look nice i'm gonna do a tour or something but that's there i have all my like packaging stuff i have a recycling bin there it's like a mesh metal bin it's so ugly it's from ikea you'll see what it looks like originally in a second because i was like oh, i want a new bin i've wanted a new bin for ages because it's so ugly then i was like you have lots of montana paint so i'm gonna paint it um because i just took out the recycling so now we will have a black bin be a much happier gal. I look like a greasy mess right now, but I'm actually not. It's the niacinamide, but it is Friday today, and currently I'm just doing schoolwork, but I'm on call for Sparkles, my little dog, uh, who I show all the time on Instagram. Uh, she is having a surgery on her eye. Uh, which I will definitely show later, but I'm just kind of waiting to get a call from the vets to go and pick her up when she's like properly awake from her anaesthetic. I've been looking at literacy rates in women over the age of 15 for my countries that I'm looking at, so um, there is not as much data as I would have liked, but we're just gonna have to move past it. If you can see on my bed, I got a bunch of packages. <laughs> uh, well, you can't really see. Some, oh, there you go. Um, except what, they're not for me. Uh, the box is for me. Uh, I'm gonna be using this to store my makeup. It's actually from an art shop. It's a Dela Rowney box, but it was the cheap, one of the cheapest ones I found, so that was amazing. And the other stuff is coffee that my friend who was studying here <laughs> loves from particular coffee roasters here. And she shipped it to me and I'm gonna ship it to her. Basically, I'm just waiting until I hear 
about the dog because it just makes me because she's so old she's almost 14. oh my dog back <laughs> makes me so nervous when she's at the vets but it'll be okay her face is going to be shaved it's like it's not going to be cute i'm at the vets and look who's here i'll show her when we get home but it looks really really bad i feel really bad for her she won't look at me because she's so pissed off okay so we're home uh viewer discretion is advised it's pretty bad around her eye she's very much shaved she just doesn't look her best right now so let's skip ahead if you don't want to see this my angel poor lady huh it's not her best look hmm i know darling i'm so sorry i feel so bad for her I think it's probably been like a full 24 hours since I last picked up the camera um, because Sparkles had surgery and as you saw it's terrible and she is very very unhappy so I've just been spending all my time looking after her um, and just kind of making sure she doesn't smack her head off too many things because she keeps she's just so agitated I feel so bad we had like the vet said like we had to do this my poor baby um, I did my nails this morning and it's saturday and i've because i took thursday off i've been doing some schoolwork and i didn't really get much done until just now so so my camera just died but <laughs> i'm just gonna continue on my phone for now i'm just uploading a good few documents i came across into mendeley and i also started a document of like helpful websites and kind of categorizing them for myself for when i need to find that information i wanted to try and get more information on if there are specific countries that have implementation schemes or specific programs for the things I'm looking at, so safe birth kits and um, adhering or like trying to adhere and enforce the safe birth checklist, things like that, which I always knew was going to be difficult, but it's like I'm kind of panicking like, oh, does that information exist? Like, can I, can I find that? Oh, my hair is tied back like this because... Uh, I brushed it so and I need to wash it so um, I did that and once I get those into my medley I think I'm maybe not gonna read them necessarily um, because it's like almost four o'clock now and I don't really want to be doing schoolwork right now and I know that's not like a valid excuse but that is my current excuse uh, I want to edit the vlog because whenever I go to edit it, I'm like if you're gonna be on your computer you need to be doing dissertation stuff so it's kind of annoying right now there is always something I could be doing if it's not dissertation it's needlepoint like painting stuff working on that you know and if it's not it's just really annoying and I haven't been able to like post on Instagram a lot and it's just not good so in some cases I just kind of need to get over myself because my skin was really bad for a while I didn't really want to, you know, take out my pics and stuff. Closing the door because my family are so loud. That's all I'm doing today. So probably gonna upload these and then leave it and work some tomorrow too to make up for my skip day on Thursday. It's another Sunday of me looking a mess. I have a little candle for the vibes. I've honestly been so preoccupied with just looking after her sparkles. She's not, she's doing much better now, but she's still not having a good time so uh just trying to make her feel a little bit better i finally finished editing and uploaded the vlog previous to this so woo thankfully that's finally up it's just there just aren't enough hours in the day right now i also just posted on um, amp needlepoint because i launched a new design a couple of days ago like i put it on etsy but this is me like i'm just promoting it now so that's good generally just kind of have like a reset Sunday. I also figured out what's going wrong with my hair. It's over moisturized because I'm like addicted to this even conditioner. It's up in a bun right now because it looks atrocious. That is it for this weekly vlog, week of my life, summer vlog, whatever. Here's hoping I, I probably said this in the last one, I actually get some work done. I did get some work done this past week but I get some more done and now that restrictions are kind of being relaxed I have a few things that I might be able to plan with friends and hiking and fun stuff like that. So subscribe to my channel to see more of my very confusing, strange summer. Follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design and I will see you in my next video.